I was actually, yeah, I wasn't born in Delhi, but I have been here long enough to also see its transition from a big city to a big city that's overflowing now. I think for me, it was really important to pick on a perspective that I can relate to myself. And I think that's where um, one of the major th challenges that we've seen uh, in Delhi, especially with transport is certainly safety and particularly for half of the population, which is essentially women. Oftentimes I've kind of felt like the city is, you know, made by men for men. Um, and it ends up being that the infrastructure you build, the kind of transport you build, the way it works, all of it kind of has that uh, gender lens to it. And the minute, you know, you kind of put on the kinds of things that women have to do and their use of transport in the city, I think it completely changes. The shared rural service van was a preferred mode of transport to cover the last mile from a bus or train station to home, particularly in the urban villages in the metropolis of Delhi, where Rani lived with her father and siblings. While it was well known that the prying eyes of men will fall on a lone woman travelling in the shared minivans, it was the only reliable and affordable option for Rani. Uh, my character's name is Rani, which means queen in Hindi. You know, she's hardworking, but at the same time, um, may not be necessarily as privileged. I traverse the city of Delhi every day, uh, but I have the privilege to be able to do it in my own car. And I, and I think the single most reason for me to do it is oftentimes just safety. So when I was thinking about the future, I think one of the things that was in, important to also know is that um, what is the time horizon that we're talking about? I did veer first towards creating this idealized future, but I think I kind of stopped myself and said, no, this is actually an, a possible future, a real future that is possible, which essentially meant that you also go back to looking at what are the ways in which we're already seeing some of this happen, you know? In November 2031, Masrat and Rani hit a silver bullet. They had been working on a program that had been analyzing women's trip patterns in comparison to men and found that the women having to take on a greater burden of childcare and household support, their trips were more complex with multiple stops, which could be dropping or picking up the kids on their way to work, buying groceries or even taking care of elderly parents that live at a distance. This made their journey more expensive with single fare tickets during the change trip and the time taken between one stop and another was significant. In this particular solution, building an app is not a new, new idea. It's, a, it's an understood uh, process. It's an understood format. But at the same time, uh, looking at, let's say, real-time data and information being collected. And as we capture, you also want to already start thinking about how you're going to use it. It's not just making the solutions, but what do you do with this? And what is the approach that you take? I think it's really important for me. And that's why I decided to choose this particular future so that it actually can become uh, part of what we're doing at the moment.